You are doing a good job. Get on with it. We believe in you. They found the sushi fountain. You can do it. You are doing a good job. Come on. Get on with it. Finally. Get on with it. There, I have the coat. Too late. They're climbing up the walls. Quick, read it out. Okay, here we go. Alpha, Alpha, Gamma, Gamma. This code is absolute camera. They're coming through the elevator shaft. Gamma, Beta, Gamma, Beta. Abort now instead of later. It doesn't work. Because that's the abort code. The correct one is on the other side. Ah! They've got my leg! Ah! 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 Quick! Wait. There, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Zeta. Not so quick, not so quick. For crying out loud. Oh, that's impossible. Hey, who's there? Room service, okay? A clone? Oh, the, um... Yes, damn it! The service bots have an imaginary disease, and I'll take the stupid helmet for cleaning, too. Um, uh huh. Uh, then you do that. And step to it. Okie dokie. My name is Rufus. I don't know anyone called Goofus. No, it's Rufus. Doofus? No, Rue. Rue. Do, no. But first. No, I. My name. Well, I see. Actually, if you can't even. You must not go. Right, I've had enough. Who are you? Did my father send you? If so, you can let him know that I'm making my own decisions now, and if he has the conversation. Recognized connecting to system. Welcome, Prime Controller. New emergency bypass options have been added. To activate Elysium Self Destruct, simply click on the totally cool <laughs> symbol. Your Elysium Security Protocol Bluebird wishes you a wonderful day. <laughs> Please don't go all Prime Controller on me. I told you, I'm going camping. Like hell you are! I know that you plan on accompanying Cletus to Deponia, but that's not gonna happen. You will stay here. Do you understand me? Uh, why should I? Because otherwise I'll activate the self-destruct sequence. You... what? Okay. I am not able to take you seriously anymore. Do what you like. I'm not talking to you. Hey, what are you doing? I'm initiating the self-destruction sequence, as promised. You wouldn't dare. 
Just watch me. Alpha Alpha Shooby Dooby, this code is absolutely hammer. Although, uh, wait, stop. Those were the abort codes. What's that you're muttering? Uh, uh, got it. Alpha Beta Sha La La. Da 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 da. And done. Well done. You've activated self destruct. <laughs> I'm a genius. You've got a wonderful 30 seconds to evacuate Elysium. If I had fingers, I'd cross them. Okay, this is crazy, Dad. Thank goodness I know you won't go through with it. Come on. Turn it off. Dum de dum. I don't see you stopping the elevator. Okay. You win. I'll wait for you down there. And now abort. Nothing easier than that. 20 seconds and counting. Alpha, beta, epsilon. No, wait. Quick! It started with the uh, alpha. I already told you that I would stay. D don't rush me. 10 seconds. <laughs> Gamma, something, something is absolute burner. <laughs> You're right there. Five, four. Oh, I know. Three, two. Cletus? No. Wait, you are. Who the devil are you? Your future. But you can call me Rufus. Huh. Well, a fine future awaits me then. You nearly blew up Elysium. Not much better than what Elysians have in mind for Deponia. What? You're Deponian? Then it's true. There is life on Deponia. Which makes the inspection tour obsolete. Quite the opposite. Deponia is inhabited. I've just got to see it. What for? You're already talking to the creme de la creme. The rest is... <sighs> yep, exactly. Like him. Another Deponian. Seen enough? Great. We don't have a lot of time to enjoy eternity. Or to break this vicious circle. Hey, nothing is getting broken around here. I'm on Elysium with gold. It can stay this way forever. What are you talking about? We have got into a time loop. If we don't do anything, this day will repeat itself for all eternity. Which doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Wow, that sounds exciting. What can we do? Uh, fun zone? No, we have to go to Deponia. Yes. <sighs> There's my chrono car. That's the source of the anomaly. A real adventure! Do I still have time to get my detective set? Are you crazy? We're not going anywhere. Oh no! The high boat! Right, that's settled. But... And they lived happily ever after. Without ever coming even close to anything resembling the end of time. This is the first, and probably last, day of your life. Am I meant to be pleased about that? Yes, but please don't take too long. There are only 24 hours in a day. The clock is ticking. Why are there monsters in the elevator? I don't understand it either. That was in the last loop. They shouldn't be here. Holy moly! We're gonna be killed by fuel locks for eternity. Not if I will have been able to prevent it. What are you doing? Are you trying to kill us? No, I wanted to leave that to the fuel locks. Come on, shut that door. I'm scared of heights. Is it greater than your fear of being torn apart by fuel locks? Well, it's great enough for me to always carry a parachute in my backpack. A parachute? Did I say parachute? Pair of uh, shoes. Or a uh, parrot, parrot hoop. Ah, I don't even think of it. And now, hold on. No, wait. Ah! Are we meant to be dropping so fast? It's the law of physics. This parachute was only designed for one person. Ah! Rufus? Rufus, are you all right? Nothing is all right. You and I, we once saved Deponia. Now, damn time machine, I thought we could make everything turn out even better without my having to plunge to my death in the end. But now, everything is worse. And the best I can hope for is to restore the old version. Elysium will fall, you'll hate me, or the Fulox will rule the planet. Sounds like we've been through a lot together. <laughs> oh yeah, you could say that. Then I've got good news for you. In this timeline, 
I don't hate you yet. Quite the opposite, actually. I'm finding this all very exciting. Time travel, few locks, parachutes, and the day has only just begun. If I think of everything that could happen tomorrow as well... But first there has to be a tomorrow. That sounds like an adventure. Then wash your ears. We don't even know where we landed here. How are we supposed to make it to Kuvak by this evening? So it's a bit tight. Who cares? That's not really a good reason to cower in a hole in the ground, is it? Just look at McChronicle. He would never give up. Say what? But that's... that's... If there's one thing I never do, then it is... Get! Get? Give up. Who cares if Elysium is now infested with locks? or that we changed everything that was saving Deponia from demolition. The main thing is, I'm still alive. Nothing else matters. I wanted to go to Elysium? Check. I wanted to save the world? Check. Okay, it's been more saved. I, I admit it. But no one can force me to go through all that crap again. All I have to do is break this stupid time loop. Look to the future. That's the motto. Um... That's the right attitude, I think. So, which way to Kuva? Ah, there you are. It doesn't work. Huh? Well, I would know if we had. I can even remember things that haven't happened yet. Hmm. Then maybe it does work. What works? The prophesying. I foresee things. Well, welcome to the club. And I speak with our maker. <laughs> Please leave the club grounds in. Don't worry. At the moment, I don't do either. Chiseler's block. I'm stuck on the fourth and three quarters commandment. For and three quarters? Yes! Uh, the, the third one ended up being quite long. So what? Who cares? But the space on the stone is limited. And then there are the high localization costs. And still, you talk and talk. Originally, it was just going to be three commandments, but I've got the feeling it's missing a good conclusion. A blessing in disguise. You ran as just the right man. Oh, how about, thou shalt generously lend thy hammer and chisel to strangers? Ah, <laughs> nice try. How about, thou shalt not fob thy worldview upon the impressionable? Definitely not. That's precisely what I'm trying to. I see. Okay, how about, thou shalt never carve things in stone? Oh, I like that. It's succinct. And it has that self-ironic nod and a wink that you only usually find in the title of hip-hop records. So, what do you think? Perfect. We should present it to the audience. He looks like someone who sleeps under a bridge, but then where did he get the curtains? Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to... Hobo Moses! <laughs> Thou shalt not write things in stone! <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. The perfect conclusion for the series. I think you should do another one. Don't you think it leaves too many questions open? Right. For example, what happened to those neighbors? They appeared in the Second Commandment and are never mentioned again. Not as much. Maybe you shouldn't have carved it in stone. Now you need another commandment to reconcile you with your community. I only ever wanted to be loved. Need any suggestions for your last commandment? No. This time, I need a real vision. I want to finish the Tablet of Commandments once and for all. And as your producer, I say, never carve anything in stone.
Yoo-hoo! You there! Do you know the way to Kuvak? Who? What Kuvak? A village south of Busa Westfar. Doesn't really sound like the hub of existence. Nah, it's more like the hub of hopelessness. Whatever. It is near. It's at least four days' march to Busa Westfar. It would even take a whole day in a rust bucket. I don't have an entire day. Then forget it. There's nothing here. Port Arrestica is a few hours upriver. If someone gave you a lift, you might just make it. Before McCronico leaves for Kuvak. Of course. Did you hear that, Goal? There's still hope. Now we just need to find McCronico. And someone who will lend you a boat. Maybe you could find one at the fair over there. At the what? I think I just found McCronico. Nothing works here. Looks like something's missing. Fits. That is Gold's spot. I'd swap, but left just isn't Gold's best side. Wait a minute. I know you. You're the pipehead man, the fortune teller from Porta Fisco. I barely recognize you, Baldy, with that hat. You're mistaken. I've never ever been to Porta Fisco. And I've never had a bald head either. Because it hasn't happened yet. Except for the baldness. You should just admit that. But we'll be running into one another a few times. Oh, so it's come to this. Now any old Tom, Dick, or Rufus can tell the future better than me. Why so grumpy? Someone's stolen my crystal ball. Now I can't see the future anymore. Not even a little. You see, I have a question or two. Then get me a new ball. Hello? Tch, what a duck. sense of direction. <laughs> Ow! Even if I find the entrance. of hats. First, I'll arrange the boat. Then, I can take care of the reading material. Hey, son. How do you fancy taking a ride on the boat of love? Well, I actually happen to be looking for a boat. I have to be in Porta Rustica before sunrise. <laughs> you can't hurry in love, my friend. This trip's only for couples in love. Oh, it's easy. I'm, uh, I'm here with my girlfriend. 
I wouldn't have guessed you had a girlfriend, judging by your looks. <laughs> How about you, sweet thing? My grandma's called Doris? That's got an O in it. <laughs> yeah, me neither. But if you do, just stick your photo in the love o meter What do you mean, photo? Ha! <laughs> you say you're in love, but you ain't even got a photo of her in your wallet. What? what's a wallet? No photo, no ride. Ain't that right, sweet thing? I saw a cat that was like red and brown and white. <laughs> you said it, but don't be sad. You too will find your one true love. Here, take this sausage token as a confirmation. They only rent boats to couples in love. Well, um... I know, sounds great. But they want a photo as proof. This is probably the most nefarious puzzle I've had to solve so far. Puzzle? Don't you think that... Don't worry, I'll take care of it. You don't know me that well yet, but I'm a professional when it comes to romance. Oh dear. First, I need to find the three prerequisite tasks. There are always three prerequisite tasks. Just wait here, I'll be back soon. That... Look, the current edition of Hats. Well, who would have thought? Apparently, bald is all the rage. Online, what can I sausage for you? One sausage, please. All out of sausage. Well, I thought this was a sausage stand. Please don't rub salt in the wound. The whole thing is humiliating enough as it is. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. The costume and all. Costume. <clears throat> So, what have you got? Nothing. Everything sold out. Oh, great. What am I supposed to eat? You think you've got it hard? I've got a family to feed. Can you just take one more look? Oh, all right. Hello? What a dump. Ha-ha! 
I won. That means, wait, they're all blanks. Fraud, scandal, fire department. Driving on track three, Whoa! the inner city express train from Chundertown, the Spewville, Barfington, Whoa! and Upper Chuck Kingsley. Passengers Whoa! connecting through to Curlingdon should Whoa! please check the flyers in section one. <laughs> Stand back Whoa! and exercise caution as your train Whoa! arrives. change for that and an immune system that like hey there's a ring in there with a little lock oh, crap. this time I'm gonna damn here ringy 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 oh come on that's impossible now I gotcha. Uh, surprise, surprise. Ah, there's the ring. Hey, stop! Oh man, that can't be true. Those damn wombats, they always mess things up. Wait! Ouch! 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 Stop it! On the other hand, if I defeat this wombat all by myself, nobody will believe me. I should drum up an audience. Well, isn't that just typical? While I'm doing all the work, you're having the time of your life on the roller coaster. I would quite like to give you a hand. Unfortunately, I currently require urgent use of both of my hands in order to hang onto this safety belt for dear life. <sighs> I'm not saying I'm disappointed in you. I'm just saying that everyone has to set their own priorities. Uh, I wish Gold could see this. <laughs> you comfy up there? <sighs> you have to let go. I can't. Yes, you can. There's only water below you. I still can't. All right. I'll think of something. You might, under certain circumstances, find this intriguing. And what circumstances would those be? Uh, other ones. Bingo! You might under... Uh, bingo! You might... Uh, bingo! You need a job? I can think of one. No, thank you. They'll never be able to believe in anything again. Unless that guy up there finally gets around to doing his thing. Oh, and of course the advert for Dr. Fowl's Deep Freeze Crunchitos. All right. We certainly believe in that. The alternative. I think it's time for me to leave. Otherwise, I'm likely to get bored of Midas. Do what you have to do. And also, more importantly, don't do what you don't have to do. 
What are you reading? An issue of hats. A magazine about hat fashion. Oh, do you still need it? Okay, stupid question. Look, your hat is so out of style. Hardly surprising. My issue of hats is over ten years old. It keeps me sane on long nights in the desert. But at what price? There. Take it. I don't need it anymore. It obviously didn't help you much. Look, the more room for forehead wrinkles look is totally in. What? Show me that. Hat model. Angscar meat cap confirms. Bald men make a more potent impression. So, leave the sunroof open this summer. Well, if that's how it is. It's the same, but this smells like patchouli and furniture polish. <laughs> Looks like gold, if someone had gouged her eyes out. I came by that honestly for once, with money I found honestly, after I honestly broke into the ticket booth. Heh, <laughs> it looks like gold, if someone had gouged her eyes out. <laughs> I knew it, like wine gums in a nostril. Please note that wine gum should not be pushed into nostrils or any other orifice. Didalic Entertainment GmbH assumes no liability for damages caused by the improper use of confectionery. It looks like gold. Unfortunately, not much happier than the original either. Apparently, extravagant hats were hip back then, and they still use the word hip. Look, extravagant hats are retro, and that makes them totally in. Oh dear, that means I'm completely behind the times. Where will I get an extravagant hat from? Huh? What's that supposed to be? A uh, hat, maybe? And a very extravagant one, too. Give that here. Now that's classy. And it feels nice on the scalp. Well, if anyone's an expert in the field, it's you. You always meet twice. This is number minus one. Look, the more room for forehead wrinkles look is totally in. Oh, what luck! This monstrosity was starting to give me a headache. Can you make a prediction now? How? I still haven't got a bo Oh, I see. Oh, why not? What can I do for you? I need a romantic picture of my girlfriend, so I can borrow a bow. Haven't you got one in your wallet? Unfortunately not. Then you'll have to take one. There's a camera over there. This advice was free. Unfortunately, <laughs> a photo of just me, not in front of this backdrop, that would give the wrong impression.
<laughs> he looks like gold, unfortunately. No, that's my side, and my face speaks for itself. All I need for that is my fingers and my famous Sunday face. Who <laughs> looks like gold, unfortunately. Dot, dot, comma, dash. Perfect. Huh, I know gold's face so well, I could have drawn it blindfolded. Say cheese, gold. Cheese, gold. <laughs> Perfect.